So it was 2024. The border's open. Thousands of people just illegally hop over the border and run into America a day. Criminals, rapists, murderers, drug dealers, cartel. And then every once in a while, I suppose there's some hardworking migrants who want to come into our country and do something positive and good. Otherwise, who are we letting in? It seems to be just criminal activity after criminal activity after criminal activity. Then somehow the power has been taken away from our police. Our military are being wokeified. That's not the word I'd like to use, but that's the word I'll use. Our police have no power to do anything to the bad guys. If the bad guys do something wrong, then the good guy responds and then the good guy gets in trouble. Firearms are being confiscated. The government is trying to ban our assault rifles and make magazine bans and ammunition bans. And essentially the government is taking the power away from the people, the police, the military, <laughs> and giving the power to the criminals, the illegal immigrants and other countries. Our taxpaying dollars are being sent to fund wars that we have nothing to do with. Ukraine has received billions and billions of our taxpaying dollars. And no one in the world is afraid of America. And America is now the running joke of the entire world. And now we approach a very important election between two essentially completely different options. One who I believe has the interest of the American people and the country in mind, but constantly puts his foot in his mouth by offending people. While the other seems to just always have her foot in her mouth and say nothing that makes any sense and never have the American people or America's interest in mind. So where do we go from here? I guess we're going to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, you know, it, it looks like we're already having some election uh, fraud issues. There's already been interference with the election. This is not a laughing matter. In fact, this is just sick. All of this is just sick and pitiful. And I am scared to death for what's going to happen. What America will be when we hand it over to our children. What's going to be left? What is it going to be? Besides shambles. America has always been and maintained the position as the strongest country in the world. People feared us. But somewhere in the presidency of Joe Biden, America became nothing but a complete an utter joke. That's what happens when you have someone weak in charge. That is why I want Trump in office. Donald Trump is not a weak man. He may offend many people. He may say the wrong things frequently, but he is not afraid of anyone else. He is not afraid to look the adversary in the eye and say, don't do that. Donald Trump is not scared to stand up for what is right, to stand up for America, and to stand up and speak out for Americans. Kamala Harris is just another weak and cowardly version of Joe Biden. And if that's what you want in office, just because she's not the orange man who offends people, and you can call him a criminal, just like you call January 6th an insurrection rather than what it was, a guided tour. What are you going to do? Let's wait and see what happens to this country. Because we are on the brink of something very bad happening. And it will take a very strong and brave and courageous leader to stand up for what is right in order to turn this big, heavy, monstrous ship around and head in the other direction.
All right, friends, I'm Coach Hardgains. Thanks for watching. Catch you in another video.